decontamination and transit hub. User alert. Loose contaminants in the decontamination chamber. Access to passenger tramways inadvisable. They are locked in. I could bypass the door. It looks like the trams to the subsidiary stations are beyond it. Control group, loosen the... They're in... Departing Central Station. Destination, Rift Station. Now arriving at Rift Station, Binary Helix Research Facility. Stand down. Sorry, we couldn't be sure what was on the tram. Can those things work a train's controls? Hell if I know. I'm not assuming any goddamn thing. Look, you're human and that's enough that I won't shoot, but I'd like to know who you are. My name is Shepard. I'm a Spectre. Huh. I won't look a heavily armed horse in the mouth. The aliens overran the hot labs last week. Only Han Olar got out, and he ain't all there anymore. The first we knew, the bastards were clawing into my command post. We had a lot more staff then. We've never seen anything like them. What do you know? I'm no xenobiologist. They're fast, vicious, and there's a hell of a lot of them. The board sent an Asari to clean up the mess. She went to the hot labs yesterday. We haven't heard from her since. I'm not gonna let any of your people die. All I can do is hold out here and protect the civilians. There's an emergency elevator out by the trams. This 
card will let you activate it. it. Can take you down to the hot labs. Oh, and if you need any first aid, Dr. Cohen's downstairs in the med bay. Tell me about Rift Station. I can't talk about everything. What do you need to know? Tell me about the defenses here. Secure enough that you shouldn't poke in corners. I was just impressed with your operation. Being able to weather a week of assaults is no mean feat. Only the best get assigned to high security facilities like this. What impresses me most is the turrets, alarms, and cameras. They're all routed through a central location out by the quarantine labs. One guy can lock down the whole facility. The security hub's the last logical fallback, and we'd have cover from the turrets all the way. What kind of research is done here? Beats me. I'm not supposed to know. So long as people don't start dying, it's not my problem. I need to know more about the situation in the hot labs. The facility's off the network. The only way to find out would be to send scouts down the elevator, and I won't send my people to their death. Tell me about the structure of the hot labs. It's built into one of the glaciers further down the mountain. Real old, thick, stable one. Something goes wrong, they heat it up and sink it into the ice. Normally, the crew gets to the labs using a tram from Central Station. We've got an elevator that connects directly, but it's for emergency use only. Uh, listen. I'm not sending my people down there. It's too dangerous. You understand? Did the aliens come from inside the facility, or did they attack from outside? You want my personal opinion? Labs like that exist to do stupid crap that gets people killed. What can you tell me about the aliens? Ask Dr. Olar. He's the only one who made it out of the hot labs. He's the only Volus left in here. How are your people holding up? We weren't expecting the initial wave. They made it inside. We lost some good people. Those of us left are short-handed. We've kept order by long shifts and stems. I don't like it, but I don't see an alternative. You're certain the Matriarch is still in the hot labs? She hasn't come back here. You came through Central Station, so she ain't there. I've got work to do. Yeah, I hear that. Hell! Man the perimeter! Thanks for the help. Every few hours a group comes up the tram tunnel. It's actually better since we locked down the elevator. They always attack here? It's an obvious kill zone. Their only other option is over the mountain and down through the ducts. And they freeze like everyone else. I don't know why they keep throwing themselves against our defenses. Even animals should learn not to stick their noses where it hurts. What? You're a member of the science teams? Recently transferred, yes. What do you do here? Molecular genetics. I specialize in biotic-enhanced allele-specific hybridization. That's a bit technical for me. I am very good at tracking inherited variations in genetic sequences. I'm sure you would find it quite dull. You seem less upset at this situation than the others. That is one of the virtues of the meditation you interrupted. Tell me about yourself. I am Alestia Alice from the University of Arrhaeus. 
Is there anything in particular you want to know, or should I just spout random facts? No need to be so rude. You are interrupting my meditations. Precisely how rude must I be to convince you to leave? Do you know Matriarch Benezia? Why ask me, and not your friend? Because I do not know anything about the Matriarch. Then why would I? That's all for now. Then I will return to my meditations. Why'd you come up here? Why would you come here? We're all going to die. Uncertain. I welcome you. Cautiously, I am curious to know what you're doing here. I was sent here to find an Asari matriarch. Surprised? One has visited recently. Furtively. There are rumors she has gone to the hot lab. For now, with forced cheer, I still have a limited supply of equipment to sell. This doesn't seem like the time for commerce. With nervous amusement. I have nothing else to do. Why not continue to run my kiosk? Let's have a look. Regretfully, most of my stock is being appropriated by Captain Ventralis. up here. Some sort of death wish. <clears throat> what? No! <sighs> Sorry. I haven't had much sleep since the attack. Yeah. Is there something you need? How are you holding up? It would be petty to complain after showering off a co-worker's brain. None of us have had enough sleep since the attack. Of course, not all of us have guns. What sort of work do you do here? I can't say. I signed a non-disclosure agreement. If we survive, I'd like to keep my job. 
The location is terrible, but the pay is better than any other commercial lab. You're not happy on Peak 15? The outside world doesn't exist here. Just walls of ice and rock. There's only the work, the discovery. It's easy to forget why science is guided by ethics. Maybe we're paying for that now. What do you do here? I'm a toxicologist. I can't talk about my work. Not that I'm doing anything since the accident. There was an accident here? I can't talk about what happened. Not here. Too public. Talk to Dr. Cohen in the medical ward. He was the project lead. What do you know about the hot labs? Nothing. I didn't work there. As far as I know, Han Olar was the only survivor. Is he in the medical ward? No, he's staying in the science team's quarters. Be gentle with him. He had a trying experience. I'm looking for an Asari. Asari? Well, there's Dr. Ialis over there. There's also our guest, Lady Benezia. Captain Ventralis might know where she is. I'll talk to you later. Remember to report any suspicious noises. Watchdog protocol is active. What do you want? Were they attacked by the aliens? They're suffering from a toxin. There was an accident. I have a non-disclosure agreement. I shouldn't discuss it with anyone outside of the company. But you're going to, because I might be able to help. I'd like to think that the company finds our lives more valuable than their secrets. You know Mira, the VI for Peak 15? She handles the safety protocols for our experiments here. We reactivated her on our way through Central Station. That was you? I'm grateful. Until she came online, the automatic equipment wouldn't work. We lost the connection to Mira in the middle of an experiment and the quarantine failed. These three were exposed to a toxin, something we were working on. I understand your caution, but I need details. What you say won't go beyond these walls. It's a bioweapon, based on an exotic life form discovered on the frontier. They wanted something that could kill the creature, but there was no profit in something that kills one species on the frontier. We kept working on it and adapted it to affect more species. Thoros B is highly infectious, but can't pass from one person to another, like a bio-war attack without a pandemic spread. Do you imagine that distinction makes this ethical? Militaries, governments, They'll get this kind of weapon one way or another, and we're trying to limit the damage. I know you can't see that. You made this but can't cure it. Don't you people take notes? Our first priority was getting it working. We were close to synthesizing an antidote when Mira went down. Our notes and equipment are locked in the quarantine labs. Captain Ventralis doesn't want to risk more contamination. Is he right to keep people out? No, the toxin has a brief period of viability. After that, it breaks down into simple protein chains. But he won't listen to me. I want access to the maintenance area. I suppose it's not allowed, but there's nothing back there. If you can save these men, I'll do that for you. I'll talk to him. Maybe I can convince him to let me try. I can't ask you to do this officially, but if you can do anything, I'd appreciate it. How's the science team holding up? Better than Ventralis' guards. They've been on alert since the first attack. I've been administering stims at their request. But every species needs to sleep. They're getting twitchy. 
irrational. Are you the doctor here? I'm a doctor, but not the doctor. My specialty is microbiology, not first aid. We had a medic, Dr. Salah, but he's... We lost him. The automatics can handle basic treatment. Mira runs them. Talk to you later. I hope you can do something. This system is online and ready to provide emergency services. What are you doing over here? I administrate the systems of all of the various Peak 15 facilities. What's wrong with these people? Accessing logs. They were in the midst of an experiment when the shutdown began. When you were taken offline? Without my program to administrate containment procedures, a quarantine breach occurred. What treatments have been attempted? I'm afraid treatment is not possible. An unknown toxin is present within the tissues of each patient. We don't need anything right now. Very well, Commander. Logging you out. Shut up! Orazid! I can't take this bitch blubbering anymore. You're relieved. Two hours rack time. But what if those things get in here while I'm off duty? You're no use to us now. Two hours and get a stem from Cohen. Yes, sir. <laughs> Thank you, Captain. You're grating on everyone's nerves. Dr. Ayalis isn't sniveling. You're not going to go to the hot labs, are you? You should go back down the mountain while you can. Since Mir's back online, I had a look at your record. I hope you didn't use up all that luck on a coups. I've always had enough to fall back on. Well, we've got some problems that could use your attention. I've heard about the problems in the quarantine lab. I'd like to recover the toxin cure. God, I wish we could help those guys. I really do, but we can't risk contamination now. Dr. Cohen says there's no risk of contamination. All right, you want to gamble with your life, you're not under my command. I'll have the guard let you in, but he'll lock the door behind you. He'll run a full scan before he'll let you out. If there are any anomalies, you stay in there. Those are reasonable precautions. I'll radio ahead to let the guard know. Good luck. I've got work to do. You and me both. Find out about them. 
didn't you? You mean those things out there? Yes. I'm the only survivor from the hot lab, you know. I need to know more about those things out there. About the Rachni? Rachni? That's preposterous. You're involved in this? What can you tell me? They found it in a derelict ship. An egg. The waiting since the last battles. They brought it here. Shut up! God, you want to get us killed? I don't have any control over who lives or dies here. Do you? If you're gonna be crazy, be the quiet kind. Crazy? I'm sane. God, am I sane. How can I get into the maintenance area? A team lead would have access. Like Dr. Cohen. He's in the medical bay. I heard you were at the hot labs. How did you make it out alive? I killed her. Who? Dr. Zonmua. We were going to lunch when the alarms went off. I ran into the tram and I closed the doors. She banged on the window once, then they sliced her to pieces. Her head came apart like a melon. I closed the door. I killed her. If you hadn't, you'd be dead too. Of course. That is perfectly true. Could Matriarch Benezia survive in the hot labs? It's possible. The specimens were sensitive to biotics. I'll be leaving now. Yeah. You're not part of the crew. I have Ventralis's permission to go in there. Yeah, he radioed. He also said you have to prove you're not contaminated to get out. You got a death wish? You should stand watches on the barricade. What? Just looking around. Then step away from the door. <laughs> <laughs> 